Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. One man was taken into custody after allegedly shooting another man in West Las Vegas Wednesday night. A man in his 40s was found fatally shot in the driveway of his home on the 1100 block of Comstock Drive near Washington Avenue. A man in his 20s told police he had shot the other man. Our understanding is they were having an ongoing argument about some type of transaction that went that did or did not go through at this point in time where someone was supposed to sell somebody something. A fight between the men escalated when the man in his 20s pulled out a firearm. A 41-year-old man received two life sentences on Tuesday for beating his two roommates to death in their Henderson home more than four years ago. As to count one, you're hereby sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. As to count two, also sentenced to life without the possibility of Parole. Roger Tyndall fled Henderson following the killing and was involved in a shooting and a police chase and shootout in Southern California. Tyndall appeared to live stream the police pursuit on his Facebook profile. Tyndall pleaded guilty to avoid the death penalty for the killing of 40-year-old Robin McComb and McComb's girlfriend, 28-year-old Melissa Mason. Police are seeking three men in connection with two robberies within a 20-minute span Sunday in the East Las Vegas Valley. The robberies occurred between 6.30 p.m. and 6.50 p.m. in the 3000 block of South Nellis Boulevard, according to Metro PD. Anyone with information is urged to call Metro's Commercial Robbery Unit at 702-828-3591. Developer Sam Cherry officially opened another shared downtown branded rental complex Wednesday in downtown Las Vegas. It's our grand opening of Share Downtown in Fremont East. It's 84 units, 30% lease, ground floor retail. Come and check us out. A grand opening was held Wednesday afternoon at the new 84 unit, five story apartment building at the southeast corner of Stewart Avenue and 11th Street, with Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman making an appearance. The project is the second shared downtown complex for Cherry. He opened his first outpost in the city's art district in 2020. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, those traveling between Las Vegas and Los Angeles now have the option to hail a professionally chauffeured ride. Chauffeur service company Black Lane announced Tuesday a new service between Southern Nevada and Southern California, describing it as an alternative to short haul flights. The service does come at a hefty price tag. On the lower end, a four hour, 270 mile ride would cost a customer $955 via Black Lane's business class. Yeah, I checked the flight as well, and that was around $250 with the Uber ride to downtown LA to the hotel I checked. So, you know, obviously a about $700 difference. KFC is offering 100% college tuition coverage for some of its Nevada employees thanks to a partnership with the online school Western Governors University and the fast food chain's nonprofit KFC Foundation. The only requirement is that an employee must be in good standings and work at a participating KFC location, according to a spokesperson. There are 18 participating KFC locations in Southern Nevada. And the Henderson Fire Department is accepting applications for firefighter and firefighter paramedics. Applications for both positions are open now and close Wednesday, May 10th. HFD is a full-service, all-hazards emergency response organization that provides safe and effective fire suppressant management, emergency medical services, and more. For more information about position qualifications, visit joinhendersonfire.com. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny, hot, and breezy conditions are in your forecast for today. Today's highs reaching the low 90s with moderate winds around 15 miles per hour. Tonight, winds will increase with gusts as high as 35 miles per hour. Evening lows in the mid to upper 60s. For the rest of the week, staying in the low 90s Friday, winds getting stronger with gusts as high as 40 miles per hour, but decreasing by the afternoon. Mid to upper 90s is projected for the weekend, evening lows in the upper 60s. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. As autism diagnoses become increasingly common, health officials have wondered how many U.S. children have relatively mild symptoms and how many have more serious symptoms, such as very low IQ and inability to speak. A first-of-its-kind study released Wednesday shows the rate of such profound autism is rising, though far slower than milder autism cases. Though autism has been diagnosed for at least 80 years, the new study 
said he is the first to put a number on the share of U.S. children who have the most severe version of it. For more on this study, log on to LVRJ.com slash live well. Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. As a guest of the Takeaways podcast for Vegas Nation, Pro Football Talk's Miles Simmons chimed in on who he thinks the Raiders should select at number seven. If the Raiders don't trade up and Anthony Richardson is there at seven, I would take him I, because of the upside. I mean, you don't know what the floor is exactly, but... Good coaches a lot of times will say, if I see that a guy can do something once, then I'm going to try to believe that I can coach him up to do that thing all the time. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. After weeks of speculation and rumors about who would be the number one pick in the NFL draft, we will find out tonight when the first round takes place. Alabama quarterback Bryce Young is the minus 1,000 favorite at Caesars Sportsbook to be the top selection by the Carolina Panthers. Kentucky quarterback Will Levis is down to 4-1 to with Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud at 20-1 to and Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson at 40-1. to Texas Tech pass rusher Tyree Wilson is the plus 130 favorite to be the number two pick ahead of Levis. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Vegas's music festival season is here. From rock to EDM, Review Journal's Jen Ah brings us this year's lineup. Of course, you can't talk about music festival season without mentioning the Electric Daisy Carnival. Described as fantasy-like, expect a long list of EDM stars, including Tiesto, who's played since the festival's debut, all at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway from May 19th to the 21st. If you prefer hip-hop and R&B, there's the biggest names from Usher to Mariah Carey at the Lovers and Friends Festival at the Las Vegas Festival grounds on May 6th. For rock and heavy metal, the band System of a Down will headline the Sick New World Festival. For Hawaiian and reggae sounds, Holo Holo is bringing favorites like Kohole Kai. And the world's largest rockabilly gathering will kick off with its signature car show and rock and roll performances this weekend at the Orleans. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a nice day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.